Hey, Warbird. How are you doing? We're winning now. Although we have some extremely tired soldiers here. Uh, I think it's time to send you two in. It's time for you to back off. It's time for you to back off. Don't want to send too many at the same time. Screw it. Send all three. Bring you in. It really is just artillery we're low on, but the more artillery we're mixing into our units, the more Italians we're going to be killing. Because their forces are still primarily close combat. Although there are quite a few German medium tanks appearing down here. So it does look like Germany is joining the offensive. And yeah, we really need to get some escort fleets over on that side. So let's take a look at our ships right now. You would do as a good starting place. Let's put you in a new task force. And your job is going to be... Mm, steering wheel. Ship's wheel. And you are the escorts. And I want to put you... Bay of Biscay. Over there. And then... Where are these destroyers being put in at the moment? Auto. I want you in... There. We really are losing convoys. Have I started building those shipyards yet? Yes, we have. Excellent. And we're almost done with the AA I ordered too. Jolly good. Italians are employing some Luigi Cadorna level tactical stupidity there. Well, now they are, yeah. Now that we've arrived in sufficient force to defend this. They did almost break through at one point. It's so close. Like, they got me down to a red level 2. They were that close to breaking through. But they couldn't quite make the final push to break it. I think the German tanks arrived too late. If the German tanks had been there, I would have been in trouble. Although, that being said, every single one of my infantry units has AT attached now. Oh, and we're about to take Mexico City. Huzzah for spearheads. Hopefully Fortress France holds this time. Well, so far so good. Germany hasn't even tried to attack me. It's only really been the Italians. Okay, so the Americans have arrived to hold all of this. Including Potosi. Including Potosi. Nice. Which means I can send all of my tanks just down here to go and attack Mexico City. Marvellous! And those are six very, very strong divisions holding this point now. We're getting quite a lot of experience. What are you guys still missing? Lots and lots of artillery, unsurprisingly. Although the deficit is coming down. Slowly but surely. Raiding That's party! a lot of raiders! And also submarines raiding me. Hello, Old Man Morte. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to your followers. We are currently playing as France. We are Fortress France, which means we are trying to hold France with everything we've got. Germany has not actually tried to attack me in the north, seeing as I've extended Maginot all the way to the coast. Though we did most of that while Belgium and France... Uh, Belgium and France. Belgium and the Netherlands were falling. Um, I'm playing without the benefit of hindsight, which means I'm not purposely fortifying this stuff. But we were able to hold. We've got a reserve line just in case. And we're currently being attacked most heavily in the Alps by the Italians, who we are slaughtering by the thousands. Meanwhile, the USA had their civil war. They did eventually go democratic because the... Loyalists joined the Axis, so the Constitutionalists joined us, and then British forces and eventually French forces started flowing in and defeating them, and then Mexico. Huzzah! After the Loyalists, aka the uh, Fascists, died, 
Mexico declared war on the United States, even though the United States had just won their civil war. So Mexico is kind of regretting that. And in fact, Mexico City has just fallen. So I don't think that Mexico is going to be long for this world. No, I don't think they are. And we're still smashing up the Italians in the Alps. That's where most of this combat is taking place at the moment. But German submarines have started to raid us. The Battle of the Atlantic is now raging. And we need to, A, make sure we have enough convoys to maintain my war fleet over in America. And B, producing enough destroyers to actually add to the escort fleet. And that's a bit of a struggle. Grumpy Tiger, thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Maudlings. Thank you very much. Maybe they'll go through Switzerland this time. I really hope not. The thing I'm a little bit worried about is Spain. Uh, you guys are looking a little tired again. Let's go and send in you and you. Just so we have a couple of reserves in place. When building forts on the border, what's the minimum level that should always be built in order to be effective? I usually go for a minimum of level four. Two if you're really in trouble, uh, but four is like the level. Although when you're building forts, one thing to bear in mind is every fort level you build is more expensive. So when you're doing forts, always build a line of just level ones, wait for all the level ones to be done, and then top them up to level two. Otherwise it's going to go level one, level two takes longer, level three even longer, and then level four takes forever. Which means that all of this line doesn't get built at all. So always make sure you go level one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 etc. We could potentially do with upgrading the Alps forts. Thinking of that, no, this is now an industrial war. This this is about attrition. We've proven we can hold the Alps. There's no real point in investing in even heavier defences. How's the Air Force doing? Oh yeah, fine. And how's the Battle of Britain going? We won it. Well, that's good. Yeah, I know I'm not building destroyers. The convoys are the bigger issue right now. And I'm working on shipyards. Brittany is building some more, and I do need to task more than that. Okay, so you guys have done your job. Well done. Cancel your orders right now and say, I want you attacking from Belize. I want you taking all of this. Please don't go via the mountains. That's a very, very silly idea. Yugoslavia has joined the Axis. Right, I think Yugoslavia was set to... Random. They are catching some of their planes, but just not enough. Their planes are doing damage to us. And now there's a lot of you defending this spot. I think we'll be fine. I mean, they're still hitting us with... 20-odd divisions. Yugoslavia's in the war. So I think the Alps are about to heat up a bit more. I'm still waiting for Barbarossa to begin. Am I able to see what Germany's doing? Yeah, I am. Air innovations. That's usually shortly before Barbarossa. Speaking of air innovations, how is my air... How are my air innovations going? Slowly but surely, but we'll get there. All right, are you guys ready for the off? Yes. Short answer, seeing as they're not guarding this. We'll just try and knock Mexico out of this war as quickly as possible. And then America can focus on winning the war for us. Yeah, these guys will probably be in the Pyrenees, and in fact, I could probably move you guys down to the Pyrenees now. I, I think that's a good idea. Let's have you as the Pyrenees Defense Force. With orders like that. Okay. So now I don't have a reserve up here. So it goes...
Really? It was British cavalry that got here before my light Control. units? No. Oh, because they're out of fuel. I see. How's the shipyard system situation going? Still down to 30 convoys. I'm not appreciating that. Let's go to speed 4. Although they are pushing here again. Send you in. Send you in. We need to send a couple of these guys off to rest up a bit. Croatia has joined Yugoslavia. Their focus is done. And those units are ready for deployment. Excellent. So, do we want to go fighter focus or bomber focus? Fighter. Some revolutionary civilian engineering can be applied to our fighters to improve their speed, range, and max altitude. We need to focus on this if we want to keep up with the advancements made by others. And speaking of advancements made by others, we can deploy all of these guys, which we're going to do right there. And start you drilling to get you up to scratch. How are we doing for heavy tanks? We have eight. Gonna need a lot more than that. We still have 11,000 infantry weapons. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. How's the doctrine research coming? 39 days. What about land doctrine? 60. Still losing convoys. I'm getting no coverage with just four. And in fact, you need an admiral. Spotting chance. AA is down. Capital ship is up. Air enthusiast. Now we have one who is specifically good with screens, right? No. But the fact that you're good at spotting gives me hope. And the fact that you have terrible AA is not a bad thing. You're old guard, though. No, I think we're going to hire a new... Damn it! Why are you all rubbish? I really dislike naval lineage. That'll do. Because if you need to retreat, retreat. Is AI focused on historical? It is. Well, most of it. The major countries are US was set to fascist, though the fascists actually lost the civil war. And the minor nations over here are also random. I think I set them to random. Yeah, which is why... Oh no, Yugoslavia did historically join the Axis. I'm pretty sure they're set to random. Naval lineage. Nobody said it was a good lineage. Well, it's just that the um, retreat decision chance reduction is really bad. Because if you need to run, then please, by all means, run. Navies are expensive to replace. And you can apparently level up. Ambusher. More max entrenchment. Ooh, and you've got Mountaineer. Marvellous. Entrenchment speed goes up. And in fact, you can get two traits. So I think I'm going to make you an ambusher. And a guerrilla fighter. Even though you're actually terrible at defending. Oh well. You'll be better at it now. That's a victory. Mexico's getting ever closer.
I think I need to move my tanks to the other side of the country soon. Go and attack down Baja, California. Power on improv experts, really good for crossing rivers, the makeshift rivers. Makeshift bridges, okay, good to know. Yeah, I do kind of regret having given him those bonuses, because you really are not very good at defending. Who is a better defender? Gamela. So all of my field marshals are the defenders. And weirdly enough, De Gaulle. But De Gaulle I'm definitely training as a, cav a uh, attacking general. In fact, I only... Considering how defensive France's doctrine was, they have a surprising number of offensive generals. I don't really need multiple. So no, you can stay as the defensive one, it's fine. You're also a level 5, which just boosts everything. Although less now than it used to. Traits are more important. I'm still losing convoys. Damn it. I really do need to build more destroyers, so I think I'm going to limit you to one line. And we'll start those destroyers p crawling out. Because right now, you have a 0% coverage. Is that because you're in for repairs or something? Low sub-detection. Oh! You don't have sonar. Yeah, that's a problem. I haven't even researched sonar. That's a big freaking problem. <laughs> All right, well, the problem has been identified. Now we can fix it. <laughs> 11 units here, seriously? Uh, and a bunch of you really need to go and heal up. Are you all in the fight? Um, why are you three here? Nerdnik, Audio, and Fritter. Audio, Nerdnik, Fritter. Back off. Heal up. Rest up. Get your mojo back. We must attack to defend ourselves, De Gaulle. I mean, on a tactical level, sure. On a defensive level, no. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not. Let's open up the Mediterranean for business once more. And we'll send our ships out further than that. Oh, hold on. No, we have to come through here. Eef. No, no we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because we can come through here. Suddenly the African coast is going to become a lot better for submarine attacks. Because as long as I'm avoiding this bit, and this bit, and coming around Africa, for the time being I think we'll be okay. The other thing I could do is get my naval bombers based here, and then also start adding some fighter screens out here. Although we are still a little bit low on fighters, so we can't do that right now. The main thing we need is just more shipyards. So let's make that a real focus. Because we're down to 17 convoys. And it would be a problem if we ran out. Yeah, 
How many Italian corpses litter the mountain range now? 900,000. Have I taken over as the... Yep, we are now the number one. Unsurprisingly, I mean, this has been one hell of a meat grinder. Continue attack. Continue attack. Gardez vos rangs. How many troops are they throwing at this? 18 at the moment. Are the Germans still here? Yeah, but again, the Germans don't seem particularly interested in attacking. Well, we shouldn't be sending any more convoys that way, right? Oh no, there's still a few going that way. The majority should be sailing into this. Toulon is now the veins of France. I'd love to give refuge to the scientists, but I really need to get the aircraft designer up and running. Improved artillery upgrade. That's good. Still 1940. And in fact, we're not getting close air support designer, so we may as well start researching that right now. And then we can start putting out some close air support. That's true. We could ask for some convoys. Hey, Britain, how's it going? I would really like some convoys, please. That's not what I asked for. What about the US? How are you doing? Oh boy, yeah, you have lots. There we go. Thank you, America. And we've just maxed out our air research. How long? Seven more days, and then we can spend another hundred. That's fine. Now I'm losing convoys in here, because of course I am. However, I think Italian submarines are going to be a lot less dangerous than the German ones. So we're going to stop you convoy escorting there. I'm going to send you here instead. Simply because the Italians are not going to be able to produce as many as the Germans are. I hadn't even thought that we'd have to fight the War of the Atlantic. But I think that's more... Supporting my tank divisions over here. So once we send those home, we should be in a better position because we don't need to support these guys overseas. Because the only thing I'm buying in is oil. Admittedly, quite a bit of oil. Peru doesn't have enough for what I want to buy anyway. We'll get another one from the Dutch East Indies. Give them some more industrial base. Iran, we're going to stop. Mexico is gone. Good. And we're going to buy a bit more from Britain. Right. We're going to get combat unit destruction, which gives our close air support better stats. Spend the research. Make it happen. Okay. So, Mexico is out means that we can send these guys home. Although they will need to come through this submarine infested seas. <laughs> Seeing the US level of interference in Europe will switch from we're sending guns, we're helping to somebody's about to get a dose of freedom. Yeah, they've got Arsenal of Democracy. Next up's going to be Giant Wakes, hopefully. Special Forces. Really? That doesn't feel like it's a particular focus right now. So I think the US Navy has just arrived. Friendly superiority, 19,000. 
Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Love to know how many aeroplanes they've lost here. I do wish that these stats were a little bit better. Uh, enemy bombers disrupted 57,000. Enemy fighters lost 339. Enemy support lost 107. So we are destroying some in the last couple of months, 12 months, I guess. 57,000 bombers disrupted. So yeah, the fighters are definitely having an impact. I'm getting a lot of experience in the process. They're just throwing a lot of fighters at that position. Seems like a cool game, but with a ton of things to pay attention to and remember. I mean, that's fairly true for any grand strategy, really. That's not unique to this. And in fact, I'd say that this has less going on than, say, European Vassalis. I still can't believe someone thought yesterday European Vassalis was a Heart of Iron mod. <laughs> that's definitely one of the funniest things I've heard in chat so far. Regia Marina is going to be making a close acquaintance to the bottom of the Mediterranean short order. Oh, they have been. Their fleet is down to 24 ships. Germany, however, is building a lot more. They've gone up from like 25. Who is the leader of the pink abomination of the Balkans? That would be... Miroslav Keglovich. And yeah, it's a puppet of Yugoslavia. I suspect it's a uh, random generation. They haven't taken this, have they? No. All of my defences are level 5, theirs are only level 3. We're good. Although, we are losing a lot of organisation here. In fact, you know what? It's time for the Mountaineers to do their part. They finally got the artillery that was promised to them. And in fact, I like the idea of setting these to high priority. Because this is where the battle is going on. And if I can keep my Mountaineers really strong, then it's going to mean good things. Now, where are the other ones? You and you. These guys are going to have some crazy defense when they arrive in the battle. Communist China has capitulated, so Japan is actually helping now. One thousand defense! Oh, good luck! <laughs> Um, however, we have a bunch of reserves here who really shouldn't be here. I think that's the damaged ones. Let's move you back to here. So yeah, we have enough healthy troops. To hold that line. Would I give a quick rundown on what the meta is these days? No idea. I don't really do metas. I don't like them. I do whatever is appropriate for the situation at hand. <laughs> 